everybody welcome back to the Carrie Diaries oh, we've had a great week here um, after the Tony Awards just uh, getting back to our normal schedule it's been um, really nice and uh, we're just uh, enjoying playing over here at the Imperial so I uh, asked you all to tweet me some questions and we got so many amazing questions so I'm gonna take y'all around the theater and uh, ask each question to each particular person and um, yeah I thought that would be a blast so let's go who's up first Jesse Mule here we are it's time to ask Mula the questions you're all dying to know at Eka 96 did you or any of the carousel cast members have to do any odd jobs such as working at a restaurant or anything before making it on Broadway? Yes, I sold shoes. You did not. I sold shoes. I did a lot of babysitting. I did a little temp work. Worked at a law firm. Um, did a lot of administrative assistant work. Um, I worked... You still do nails. I still do nails. <laughs> we'll she work loves, for food. She loves nail art. Loves to do nail art. Um... <laughs> Yeah, and, I did all kinds of things. Uh, there's, that's a, this is a two-part. Oh. Uh, the second part second is... second part is... How does that transition period of moving to NYC and auditioning work? Great <laughs> question. Mm -hmm. I had a very unique experience in that I came to New York City with a show. So that was really different. I came I came with a job. Well, I came with a, with a workshop in a lab of a possible job. It right. was like, we want you to be a part of this and... Um, you know, maybe maybe it'll work out. Maybe we'll we'll put you in the cast, and that's what happens. So I didn't have the experience of coming here like like you did or mm -hmm. some other people, and you know, finding an apartment and finding a job and getting in doing the grind of the auditioning and sort of having auditioning be your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's different for everybody, but I don't ask ask Lynn's. Well, as long as you're asking. Well, want me to hold the thing? Yeah. I can't hold it myself. I'm holding the chip. <laughs> She's holding chip. For me, mm -hmm. moving here, uh, I I just made sure I kept looking for jobs that would understand that I was an actor, mm -hmm. not you know there to do that job. So I worked, for example, in customer service at ah. the American Girl Doll Store. <gasps> That's right. But they knew I was an actor, and that was kind of part of why I got the gig because I could like be sweet to the little kids giving their dolls to the hospital, the doll hospital. You um, have people skills. I have people skills. Um, so I always made sure that I, I had jobs that, that supported that. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that, you know, I think that's people sometimes get involved in jobs that don't support it and then they get stuck sure. in those jobs. So, But don't you find that um, a lot of the skills, I think sometimes people think, oh, I'm an actor, I can't do anything else, or this or that, or people won't want to hire me, but... Don't you think that a lot of the skills you use as an actor are very applicable to the workplace, like people skills, like yes. being able to read a room, absolutely, like knowing how to be gracious to people? Yeah, I think that all of that kind of lends itself to like great customer service, we which is what like every service. job yeah. wants. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Tess Kligis, um is asking, "What is the range of dance experience in the cast?" And I thought, who better to tackle that than our very own Brittany Pollock? <laughs> Brittany, what, what would you say is the dance experience of, of the company? So I would say there's definitely a range. A lot of the dancers in the show have a lot of Broadway experience. Mm -hmm. Some of the you know guys and girls in the show have done you know seven or eight different Broadway shows. Yeah. But what's unique about this show is because Justin Peck is the choreographer and he's you know very big in the ballet world. He's the resident choreographer of the New York City Ballet. So he has a you know a lot of his choreography has a ballet based background to it so a lot of the dancers in the show also have a ballet background like what about you for um, instance so for me uh, <laughs> I'm from so I dance with New York City Ballet and I'm taking a leave of absence from the ballet company to come do the show and also Amar Radnasar who's also doing the show mm -hmm. as Jigger is from New York City Ballet mm -hmm. and some of the dancers are former New York City Ballet dancers they're dancers from Miami City Ballet from American Ballet Theater so and you guys just all happen to also sing and act <laughs> Well, we're trying. <laughs> no, you are. You're doing. <laughs> so it's new. It's new for a lot of us. But, right. But yeah. So you're all taken to it like water. But we're, we're soaking it up like a sponge. You really want to go back to the ballet? I 
I mean, you I love, I Broadway. love Broadway. But I love the Valley too. It's just two different worlds, but we want to keep I'm you. Loving it. Kira Momoko asks, this is a question for all the cast. What is your go-to audition song? So let's go around and find out. Maude, what is your go-to audition song? My go-to audition song? Yeah. Uh, I just had an audition today and I sang more by Usher. So good. <laughs> Craig? Okay, well, You're I'm from the ballet world. From the ballet world. So I have a few songs. She loves me. Oh God! And to my yeah. amazement, classic. Then classic. there's a town's a lonely town. Okay, wait. I didn't ask you to do it. I just wanted to know. All right, Jess Leprado, what's Hi. your go-to audition song? When I'm free to be whatever I want to be. I don't need the performance. I usually see so good and keeping it Latina. Loving of course, that. Always representing. The KK? Hey. Your go to audition no. song? Um, it's this song from Moana. <laughs> How no, far I'll go? It, do it, yeah. do it, do it, do it. I've been... No, that's a different song. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know the whole I know the whole soundtrack off book, but it is the big one because everyone knows that song and makes everyone happy and I'm I'm an island boy anyway, so. So good. So you're going in for uh, yeah, music. on the roll. Yeah, musical say, comedy. Say bring your own musical song. comedy, bring your own song. Oh god, so stressful. Um, I will <laughs> go with, um, oh, Lily of the Valley, which is a song from um, yes. I Love Lucy. Yes. Okay, very good choice. You're going in for like contemporary uh, drama. Going film. in for Les Mis, bring your own song. Oh, what do you say? That's a Les different Mis. thing. Okay. Oh, I would do um, Vienna. Vienna, like. Yeah, but okay, like, great. Literally, she's gonna be off her only now, so. Right, that's true. <laughs> cut. Cut. And cut. Okay, so this is a question for Miss Renee Fleming from Broadway Singer Zero. Renee, what is different about being in a Broadway show than working at the Met or other opera companies? Well, the biggest difference is eight shows a week, right. as opposed to two, uh, maximum three. And the other huge difference is that on Broadway there is a microphone, there's amplification. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about that. Do you do you sing so differently, like based Usually on? Usually differently. Really? Yeah, because um, in classical music we're unamplified completely, right. so uh, people forget that. But it means that the bow, the body is the power source, and sure. we have to really use all of our strength to project the sound. Gosh. Um, in the hall, I mean, the Met is four thousand seats. It's huge, and we're singing over a full orchestra and chorus sometimes. That's insane so, that you guys do that. I yeah, never do that. It's, that's why it's tiring and you know we're sort of power lifters so right. that's why we have to have those two days off because wow. you know uh, at a certain point too it's just you need if you want to really be at your best you have to have that rest. Right. Oh and, he, and, and too they say like what how is it different in the sense of like community with like a company like is it any different? Um, we still have that, absolutely, and mm -hmm. it's kind of a little bit different in that, you know, we're like, we re our reunions take place all over the world, right. so, you know, I'll see friends in Paris or London or Salzburg or, you know, wherever it is that I'm performing, if, if it's opera, uh -huh. um, and that is always a blast, you know, now we said we, we're like high school students, we still have arrested development, we haven't changed, we still, <laughs> you know, everybody still parties and has a great time, um, but the, I, my life is mostly sent on a plane every three days singing concerts, and that is much lonelier. You know, that's, sure. you don't have that. And I love the community here. Yeah. I love that, that the notion that you see the same people who are wonderful people, not to mention gifted, right. um, every day for you know, months on end. Yeah. That's great. That's a real plus. Well, it's our blessing to have you here on oh, the BOA. Never leave you. us. Thank you. Thank you. And it's going to be such a blast to watch your star keep rising and rising and rising. Oh, please. No. I'm doing the same gig and Hashtag we're having a ball. television show for Lindsay Mendez. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, yeah. Olivia Visa wants to know what is included in your perfect day off? Olivia, my perfect day off, um, I'm going to get a massage or some body work because it's really physical role. Because we gotta and work that body. Gotta work that body. And probably some sort of domino selection. Could I be knew you were crust. gonna say that. Give me a three topping pepperoni, sliced sausage, and, and, and um, maybe some pineapple, and a couple blue cheeses on the side. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day off though? Not every day, just the, the perfect, perfect one. <laughs> perfect. Okay, so this question is for moi from Andre Orozco. 
He says, I know you have actor therapy while doing carousel, so how are you going to juggle both at the same time? Good question. Uh, I do teach. I'm a teacher um, and run a school called Actor Therapy, which is, uh, for those of you who don't know, a um, musical theater uh, intensive course that I run uh, with Ryan Scott Oliver, the amazing composer and teacher. And I have a ton of beautiful, wonderful students. And um, while we've been getting the show up, I've had uh, the help of some amazing, amazing guest teachers who've come in and worked with my students um, and uh, and they still are a huge part of our staff um, but I get to pop in every now and again and check in on my students and um, so I'm still very much a part of the school and trying to every day learn balance um, how to balance the show and my teaching and my at-home life and my family and friends um, it's something that I think we all work on every day and, uh, but I'm constantly striving for balance in my life and actor therapy is a huge part of that. Um, and I'm gonna answer one more question and this is from at Ryan Murphy. And he says, Lindsay Mendez, do you have any advice for aspiring actors who are scared about the instability that comes with being an actor? Oh, Ryan, yes, I do. I would say uh, if you can save up money before you come to New York, um, it's a great idea so that when you get here, you don't have to immediately start killing yourself at a day job. You have a little cushion to kind of start figuring out your life here. I think that's really helpful. Um, and I would also say make sure you seek out a day job. You're going to have to find a day job. Um, we all do it, have done it. Find a day job that, you know, really lets you... Um, audition and go to class um, because if you're here and you end up just doing your day job you're going to be super unhappy because you know you moved to New York to pursue a career in the performing arts um, so I would say make sure you find a job that's flexible um, try and come here with some money and try and find a friend group that is super supportive and possibly even also in the same medium of arts as you so that you guys can discuss auditions and kind of have a, a little rallying support group around each other. I think that's super important too. I have that and I would not survive without it. So that is all the time we have for this episode. So much fun. Thank you all for your questions. They were amazing. We've had a great time. Uh, tune in next week when I continue to delve into the depths of the Imperial Theater with you all and with my incredible company. Bye.